All right, guys. Question of the day. Question of the day. Is Dillian White ducking uh, Louis King Kong Ortiz? Let me know in the comment section below of this video. I would really appreciate that. Because that's what every uh, uh, LDBC fan and LDBC fanboy are saying. I mean, have you seen their videos lately? They've been just talking about how, you know, Dillian White needs to be fighting Louis King Kong Ortiz in a, you know, title eliminator to face Deontay Wilder. He can't just face Deontay Wilder. He can't just face Deontay Wilder. No, he got to fight Louis Ortiz. The WBC is trying to mandate Dillian is trying to order Dillian White versus Luis Ortiz. Is Luis Ortiz going to take this fight with Dillian White? Dillian White stuck in Luis Ortiz. Dillian White could have been fought Luis Ortiz back in 2018. Instead, he fought Joseph Parker. Instead, he fought Derek Chisora. That's what the LDBC are pro proclaiming. They're proclaiming that had Dillian White fought uh, Luis Ortiz back in December when he was supposed to, he would have become, and let's say he would have beaten him, he would have become the mandatory for Deontay Wilder's WBC belt. Therefore, he would have been challenging right now for Deontay Wilder's WBC belt instead of Dominic Brazil because he would have been Deontay Wilder's mandatory, right? So that's what they're saying. All right, that's what they're saying. So here's the thing, you know, Dillian White, first, first of all, you know, they keep saying Dillian White's uh, calling out, uh, I mean, ducking Luis Ortiz because with the, with the LDBC they claim every heavyweight is uh, afraid of, of uh, Luis Ortiz they claim Anthony Joshua was petrified of Luis Ortiz they claim Dillian White's petrified of Luis Ortiz and this is why they give Deontay Wilder so much props because they're like look look Deontay Wilder he fought Luis Ortiz he had the balls to fight Luis Ortiz none of these other heavyweights had the balls to fight Luis Ortiz Deontay Wilder had the balls though because he got big balls big brum bomb balls that's what they're proclaiming that's why they give him so much props and they kiss his ass so much and they basically bow down to this man for the Luis Ortiz fight because they claim that Anthony Joshua, Dillian White, Tyson Fury, Joseph Parker, and, 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 and every other top heavyweight is afraid of Louis King Kong Ortiz. They want no parts of him. You know, I, you know, I don't believe that. You know, I don't believe that, you know, narrative or point of view, but that's what they believe. Here, here's some, here's some, here's some news, so a fun fact. Two years ago, Dillian White called out Two or three years ago, Dylan White called out Luis Ortiz when he was with Matchroom. Because if you guys remember, he, at one time he was with Matchroom. He was signed with Eddie Hearn on like a fight by fight deal basis, and they were both in the same, you know, promoted by the same, uh, you know, promoter Eddie the Hitman Hearn. And guess what? Dylan White said, "Yo, Eddie, make uh, the Luis Ortiz fight. I want to fight this bum." And guess what? Louis King Kong Ortiz wanted no parts of Dillian White. He pulled a Deontay Wilder. He wanted no parts of the man. Then, a, f f a flash forward 2018, Louis Ortiz is calling out uh, Dillian White. I mean, uh, yeah, I think that's th that's what it was. He was calling him out. Dillian White says, "Okay, I'll fight you, big fella, big Cuban, but you gotta have to come to the UK. I because I'm gonna be fighting on December 22nd here in London, and I want you, big boy." buddy cuban to come over to the uk and fight me and you know what luis ortiz said he said nah man nah man you know how he talks with his broken english nah man what you talk about man nah. you see i want you come to uh uh brooklyn no to los angeles and to uh fight me in uh the undercard of uh, uh luis ortiz I mean, uh, <laughs> Deontay Wilder versus uh, Tyson Fury. Come on the card here. Fight me now. Louis uh, Dillian White said, nah, bro. Nah, B. You fight me in, in December. Uh, and, and Louis Ortiz said, nah, 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 nah. And, ch and instead, he elected to fight bum ass. Was it either Raz Van Kajano or bum ass uh, Travis Kaufman? All right. And Louis, and then. What's his name? Uh, Eddie Hearn made Dillian White versus Derek Chisora. By the way, I wanted that fight to happen back then. I made a video saying I want to see Dillian White versus Derek Ch versus uh, Luis Ortiz. And I remember Derek Chisora, Del Boy, was going around saying, no, no, no. I want to fight him because no one knows, Luis, no one knows who Luis Ortiz is. And But again, Luis Ortiz did not take that fight because he didn't want to fight in the UK. Okay? Uh, so now people are claiming that Louis or the Dillian White, Doug Louis Ortiz. Meanwhile, he called him out two years ago. 
I don't think Dillian White stuck in anyone, okay? That's just my personal opinion. Uh, so uh, now everyone's uh, wanting to see Dillian White versus Luis Ortiz. And you know what? I'm one of those people. I, I'm all for Luis Ortiz versus Dillian White. I told you, I think Dillian White catches Luis Ortiz with a freaking right hand and knocks him out cold. Luis Ortiz is extremely hittable. And if he's getting nosebleeds, if he's getting rocked by guys who are not in the quality, I mean, of, of a Dillian White and who, and who, and against guys who are not as big as punchers as Dillian White, I guarantee you, if Dillian White lands his sharp shooting, because he likes to, like, pot shot right hands, if he lands one of those right hands on Luis Ortiz, you're going to see the man bleed. You might even see him drop. He's going to be in serious trouble. I'm telling you right now, uh, Dillian White has been fighting dudes. He's been testing himself. He's been fighting dudes to prepare him for someone like Luis Ortiz, and he's a monstrous puncher. I'm telling you, he hits harder than Luis Ortiz. I'm telling you, Luis Ortiz is a decent fighter, decent boxer, decent puncher, but he's not as big as a puncher as Dillian White. I just see Dillian White overcoming Luis Ortiz. I hope they fight. I actually hope they fight. You know, I, I hope that the WBC orders Luis Ortiz versus Dillian White next. I hope. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be super stoked for that fight. Super excited. Uh, and, I, and I will be picking Dillian White in that fight. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think Dillian White is ducking Luis Ortiz the way these LDBC fanboys are proclaiming? Nobody wants Dillian. I mean, nobody wants Luis Ortiz. Nobody wants this man. He the pound for, he would be the pound for pound number one heavyweight. You got dudes ranking this dude the fourth best heavyweight of all time. The, the fourth best heavyweight in the world. Who has he fought? Bro, who has he fought? Oh, Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder beat him. Who has he actually beaten? Brian Jennings. Brian Jennings is top 20 at best. Good fighter. Good fighter. I'll give him that. But he's not no elite boxer. He's just not. That's the only dude in his whole goddamn resume that you could be like, yo, Luis Ortiz beat this dude. That's it. Anthony Joshua's resume shits all over Luis Ortiz. Facts. Anyway, guys, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'm out.